Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Thursday, February 22, 2024. I pray that you are all doing well and in good spirit. And I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you as you go throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 15. We'll read from verse 32 to 39. And it says, Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. And his disciples say unto him, When should we have so much bread in the wilderness, as to fill so great a multitude? And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have he? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and brake them, and gave to his disciples, and his disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat, and were filled, and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. And they that did eat were four thousand men, beside women and children. And he sent away the multitude, and took ship, and came into the coast of Magdala. We give God thanks this morning for his word, and I pray that you will be blessed, and that you will be encouraged. In these couple of verses, we realize that the multitude, after following Jesus for about three days, at this point they were exhausted and they were tired and hungry because they had not eaten because they were so captured by what Jesus was doing and they were so amazed by his teaching that they they could not leave leave his presence and so they followed him all day and night for three days there is something interesting here that I don't want you to miss. Jesus is not unaware of the needs of others. Jesus noticed that these people were following him for so long. And he realized that they must have been hungry. They were hungry and they were exhausted from following him. And so... He, while he was giving them the spiritual food, he didn't neglect to give them physical food for stamina also. And that is why the sharing of the physical food as well as the spiritual food is important. Never forget that. So while we, while we give others the spiritual word which they need more than anything, we must not forget that they also have a need for physical food. And that is why charity and the gospel, they are interlocked together as one companion, right? Because the, the reality is that people have need. And yes, I am not going to say you are always in a position to meet those needs. But never put it out of your mind that people have needs. And so we should try to have a balance. We share the word of God, but also see how best we can meet those who have needs. The Bible said that we are not supposed to forget them. It's a part of our responsibility as his friends as his servants and as his right hand okay so don't forget that the only way we can find ease and relief is to lay at jesus feet just like the multitude did we have to submit to him and leave ourselves to his discretion because the truth is that he will not fail us he can give spiritual healing, emotional healing, and physical healing. Now, you might be wondering, how does these people follow Christ 
for so many days and they did not take the time to eat they did not go home to their families or whatever they just up and just follow him for three days straight but that's the thing about god when you understand how important it is to be in the presence of god and you realize how much you and i need him you will follow him forgetting about yourself and seeking him now if we remember when jesus was at mary and martha's house and one of them was in the kitchen trying to get food ready for the guests or everyone that was in the house the next one was at jesus feet one had a problem that the next one wasn't helping her and so she complained to jesus and what did jesus say to her that the sister chose the better part by sitting at his feet and listening because what as much as what she was doing in the kitchen it was important yeah but what the other sister was doing by sitting at his feet and listening and spending time with him is even more important and so god help us to understand that seeking him is a matter of priority and should be treated as such now in this case of the 4000 jesus had only seven loaves and a few fishes and so he was able to bless that and multiply it so that he could feed those 4000 guests now what lesson can we take away from that it doesn't matter what your portion is or it doesn't matter how much you have god can multiply that into more than you and i can even imagine and so we must seek god and then god will bless us and remember also that god is the bread of life and so even though the story points to um physical bread the spiritual aspect of it is that god is the bread of life and when we eat and partake of the bread of life then we will be filled we will not go hungry just like jesus is the water of life when we drink and partake of the water of life we will never thirst again and so let us understand that our relationship with god spending time with god we must not allow anything to take us away from that experience because god is able to build up god is able to lift and to heal and to multiply our portion and if you remember in the reading after they finished eating there was still portion left so god will multiply your basket that it will overflow so as we continue to trust him and as we continue to seek him may we remember that with god nothing is impossible and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him god bless you and have a wonderful day amen